Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bahara Kakadash. And double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS, Ruel. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect brothers out there on the four corners of the globe, pushing this truth and all truth and sincerity and strength, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. It's GMS, Arkansas, the brother preacher call. I want to go into this word, right? Um, the word I want to go to is the word restore. Okay. And this is a, uh, this is a heavy word really when you, uh, when you're dealing with in the scriptures. Okay. This is, this is a heavy word, man. This is a word of action, a transitive verb, which this is, this is one, when we hear this word, we should you should uh, somewhat have a sense of, of, of a feeling of joy when you hear this word restore. Because when you go into the promises of the scriptures, the kingdom will be what? Restored back to the Israelites, the, the, the true people of the Bible. Right now, we are not in a restored state. We are in a captivity state right now. We're in subjection under who the world called the borders of wickedness, which are Esau. Okay, so I'm going to go into this word restore. It says to give back, to return, to put or bring back into existence or use. To bring back or to pull back into a former or original state. To renew. To put again in possession of something. Which the possession of something is the possession of the whole world. Okay. We had that power at one time. And we lost it. Okay. And the Lord told us if we didn't obey the law and statutes and commandments. When you go into Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter, you start at the 14th verse. You read the rest of the chapter and then go into 32. Read read those, read that chapter and a half. And the Lord, Yahweh, going to tell you if you don't do, if you do adverse to what he's telling you to do, the things he's going to do to you. Okay? And being in captivity is one of those things. But the word restore means to put back. Okay? And this is what this is what's gonna happen soon to come. We will be renewed. Just like that name, Yahweh Shai is refreshed in us in our minds. The whole state that we our big former state will be renewed back. It will be refreshed back to us. Okay. The land of milk and honey. Okay. All the possessions of the world. Okay. All the resources. Okay. Now, when when you read in the book of uh uh Acts the first chapter, right here in the first chapter, the disciples when Yahweh Shai came back to them and supped with them after the resurrection, they were thinking that it was time for that kingdom of heaven to come back. But they didn't understand that it was talking about in the time that we're in now. Okay. And that's what I want to focus on this scripture, Acts 1 and 6. It says, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, Yahweh Shai, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Israel being the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans. Okay. He said, will, will you at this time restore again? Restore is apakath, apakath this tami. Apakath this tami. If I'm saying it right. Okay. To restore to its former state. To be in the former state. Okay. Strong's definition. Reconstitution in health, home, or organization. To restore again. 
the organization being the nation of Israel. Okay, we'll be restored back, it says health. We'll be restored back to those bodies that, that will not get sick anymore. The, 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 uh, what we live, the, 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 the times we're living in now, we have chemtrails, um, poison of food, water. Everybody is aching, got pains, we're sick. We all aller, aller, uh, what do you call it, allergenic allergies, okay? Under the rule of Esau, the earth is defiled, okay? Under these ha inhabitants, man. So it has to be a, res a restoration soon or ain't going to be nobody. So this is that coming of Yahweh Shai, which we look for, that it, everything will be restored back to what's called basically normal. Okay. Let me get uh to support the scripture I just read. Let's look at Isaiah, the first chapter, 26 verse. And I will restore thy judges as the first and thy counselors as at the beginning when we rule. Okay. We rule by this rule by uh, this law, okay? From the beginning, when we when we were in charge of everything, before we went into captivity, it says afterwards, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, and faithful, and the faithful city, okay? And when your shot takes over, that's how we're gonna be ruling in righteousness, man. Okay, the nation of Israel and Judah, the northern and the southern kingdom, coming out of captivity, man. Okay, this is what you see happening. We're getting ready to come out of captivity, man. All right, Jeremiah, what does he say? Jeremiah said 33 and 7, and I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and we'll build them as at the first. So we're going to be, hey, man, we're going to be wearing the beautiful garments again, the diadems. We're going to have that power, the crowns, okay? We're going to be righteous, man. It won't be all this uh, backbiting and, and smiting, you know, have to worry about somebody stabbing you in the back. It won't be none of that. A kingdom filled with righteousness. Mm -hmm. said we're going to be the city. Uh, the city of righteousness, man. Okay. Right? Living in one under Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. It's gonna be a beautiful time, all right. Uh let's try the book of Daniel. See what Daniel had to say. Because many of the prophet hey, the Lord revealed his secrets unto these servants the prophets, man. And how he's gonna restore. It's Daniel 7, 27, and the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Who are the people of the saints of the Most High? Let's find that out in the book of Psalms. 148. Start at 13. It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord Yahweh, for his name is alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and the heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel. So it said, the saints are the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, they near unto him. Okay. Quarab, near a place, a personal relationship, a kinship. So he has a personal relationship with these people. Okay. A personal relationship. Israel told you in Exodus, the fourth chapter, that it is firstborn, okay? The firstborn of the Lord. 
So it says, once again, Daniel 7 and 27, and the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, which are the Israelites, whose kingdom is everlasting, meaning forever, an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. All the dominions shall serve and obey all the realms of the world. Okay, the, all the empires gonna 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 uh gonna serve and obey. Okay, serve to worship to reverence. Okay, to pay reverence to. Okay, a lot of you you other nations gonna have your own land, but you gotta come. Every year you got to come pay tribute to us, man. Tell and Zechariah, man. Okay, at the fourteenth chapter, y'all got to pay, come pay, uh, uh, come to uh, doing the feast of tabernacles, man. Okay, and if you don't, we're gonna stop the rain from raining on your land. You got to pay reverence. You got to serve us and obey us, man. Obey. See to to hear. To correspond to what we're saying, to our laws and our statutes and our commandments and our power, okay. And the Lord is getting ready to to to, to uh, close these breaches up, man, between between us and gather us back, okay. Amos nine and eleven. In that day, I will raise up the tabernacles of David, which is the house of David, the Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, the Southern and Northern Kingdom. That is fallen, right? And we are in captivity. And close up the breaches there. Okay? And I will raise up his ruins. And I will build in as the days of old. Once again, restoring. Bringing back, returning us to that former state of when we were judges and counselors. Okay? And this is what's coming to the nation of Israel. Okay, so when these disciples in Acts the first chapter, when they say well, when they saw the Lord, they thought it was that time. When therefore were come together, they therefore were come together. They asked him, saying, "Lord, Yahweh Shai, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel?" They thought it was coming then, but they didn't understand that it's coming. 2,000 years later, when they are in the reincarnation, okay? That's why the Lord told them, uh, that's why he told them this right here, and I'm going to close with it. He told them this right here. Uh, he told them this, and Yahweh Shai said it to them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, right? You have, when he said, y'all have followed me in the regeneration, the regeneration, in the new birth, the renewal, the, okay? The renovation, the, the, the production of a new life, which is basically reincarnation, okay? Regeneration spiritual rebirth the state of the act that is figurative spiritual uh renovation so it's really reincarnation re meaning uh, uh back carnation in the flesh okay the spirit is reincarnated every three or four generations this is what he was telling him them then that they didn't understand in acts one and six okay because he told them here in Matthew, but then they were thinking back when he told them this, when they seen him again. He said in the regenerations when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, and they knew he was in his glory because he had been resurrected. Ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. That's why they asked him in Acts 1 and 6, is it, is it this time? Because they remember him saying this right here. Okay, and they knew he was in his glory when they saw him, so they thought the kingdom of heaven was then, but they didn't understand it's talking about in this time we're in right now. 
So when Yahweh Shai comes back with this innumerable amount of angels, it's going to be a, uh, 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 when he come back with, the, with his host, he's going to come back to restore that nation of Israel in this particular uh, eon that we're living in now. I'm going to close with this one. Zechariah 8 and 3. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, I am returned all Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth and the mountain of the Lord, which is the government of the Lord, and the host of the holy mountain. So y'all going to be the armies of this holy government. Okay? <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. Thus said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for very age. Okay, he's having his staff in his hand, his support. Okay, you're going to have your substance back. You're going to have your power back. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, it, it, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of the people in these days, shall it also be marvelous in my eyes, saith the Lord of hosts. So it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushua to see us in our restored state again. Okay. That restored state where all our possessions will be given back and us to to be brought back and given this glorious kingdom in the midst of being in this captivity that seemed like there's no way out. But through the scriptures, we know that Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is coming back, right? He's going to return. He's going to return that way he left those disciples because those men, those two angels said, hey, he's going to come back in the same manner. And when he come back this time, he's going to come back in all glory and power and to save the elect of the nation Israel. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying to the elect of Israel. Call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Wahara Kakodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect brothers out there on the four corners of the globe, pushing this truth and all truth to sincerity and strength. Yahweh Shai, GMS Arkansas. To the next time, I say Shalom.